Hi, it's Mike with Ubitastic again. I'm sitting here at a SciTag meeting. What is SciTag? SciTag is a Chicago Information Technology Architects Group meeting. And uh, I'm sitting here with Tim W. Murphy, who, uh, T.W. Murphy on Twitter, uh, who runs the uh, user group. Hi, Tim. Thanks for sitting down with me. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about what is SciTag? Well, uh, Chicago Information Technology Architect Group, the whole long name that we're officially required to have there, um, because architect is a protected name within professions in Illinois. Okay. Uh, we have to call it information technology, otherwise we get sued. Oh, really? Um, uh, we started in 2008, mm -hmm. uh, four of us that wanted to get together and discuss architecture-related topics, uh, but we didn't want to limit it to one particular uh, practice within architecture. We essentially sit down with Microsoft people, Java people, Ruby, you name it. We but that's what I was going to ask, is it, is it focused on platform? No, we're very agnostic as far as what platforms uh, we cover. Now, granted, the, the group that started the the architects group was all Microsoft people. We had uh, an architect uh, evangelist for Microsoft, Larry Clarkin, um, um, Carl Franklin from Maven Wave, and uh, a gentleman from CBW, uh, Stephen Rylander. Carl and I are the only two that are, are left from the group at this point. Um, and you know, between shuffling our, our normal consulting jobs and, and trying to get speakers, and so that we can offer the Chicago community uh, a view into different technology topics right. that uh, affect the way we architect solutions. Okay, so your your talks are more like kind of higher level. This is how we put together solutions. Not so much uh, implementation details. We vary. Um, some of them are very high level concept and other ones uh, we've had a couple uh, one that we did last year was Java versus C sharp in right. design patterns. Okay. So we went down into the code and you know you know more of a uh, application architect level and then we've had ones that were data architect or information architect driven and I, I've been to one of your meetings before, but what, it was under a different name. What was the, uh, it was the CAG, the CAG? Yeah, it was the uh, Chicago Architects Group. Chicago Architects Group. Now, when you kind of mentioned having to change the name, was that why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, since we only had architect as part of the name, um, we got some lawyer cease and desist letters really? and had to sit down with the lawyers for the architectural profession within uh, Illinois, yeah, and they allowed us to change the name to Chicago Information Technology Architects Group. So they were, I mean, was it just like a cease and desist, or were they like, we're going to sue you? It, it was, you stop calling yourself architects, or we will sue you. Okay, so at least it was, which is really, it's uh, strange that, that, that they would restrict it, but I guess there's union concerns or something? Or? It, it's architects, physical architects are, are considered trained, certified people, whereas that's not something that's currently done within uh, the IT architecture. Right. We don't have this one. Yeah. Um, the uh, ISA, the International Association of Software Architects, has been trying to do that. And that was one of our original options before creating this group was do we become an ISA chapter. Okay. Um, but there were a number of legal things that we would have had to have taken on as a, an official entity and a board of directors and everything else that we, we were more interested in supporting the community right away than trying to set up all of that infrastructure. Yeah, and that costs money and it's time. Well, yeah, and, and we, you know, we needed a whole business plan and everything else that went along with it. So we, we just opted to go with more of a free form, um, a forum type of environment. Now, uh, what kind of uh, meetings do you have? Are they more presentation style, or do you have um, lab type work? No, they're, they're all presentation style, uh, kind of a 
open forum question and answer. Uh, they're usually about 45 minutes long, and uh, you know, as far as the presentation itself goes, it will go maybe to about an hour and a half once uh, questions are factored in. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to sit down. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.